Welcome to the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, where the golden sands meet the shimmering Arabian Gulf. Here, ancient history and modern innovation intertwine to create a unique cultural tapestry. And in this land of contrasts, something remarkable is happening. Saudi is embarking on a bold and ambitious mission to go green. Sounds impossible? Watch the video till the end to discover how Saudi has shocked the American scientist with extending the 400 square kilometer of fertile land into 35,000 square kilometers. Learn about the challenges in achieving greening milestones that the country faces due to absence of rivers. Saudi Arabia has a desert climate and is therefore particularly vulnerable to desertification, which is the process of land degradation in arid and semi-arid regions. But some areas of the country are relatively green due to natural and human-made factors. Some of the green areas in Saudi Arabia include Asir region, Al Asa Oasis, Taif, Wadi Hanifa. The country houses more than 2,000 wild plant species belonging to 142 families. Some common plant species in Saudi Arabia include acacia trees, tamarisk shrubs, desert date palms, and desert thorns. These plants have adapted to harsh desert conditions by developing specialized features to conserve water and withstand high temperatures. However, Saudi National Center for Wildlife reports that 600 species are endangered and 21 are already classified as extinct. The idea of turning Saudi Arabia's desert screen is familiar. Several individuals and organizations have proposed it over the years. One of the most prominent figures who advocated for greening the desert was King Faisal bin Abdulaziz Al Saud who ruled Saudi Arabia from 1964 to 1975. In the early 1970s, King Faisal launched a massive agricultural project called the Green Saudi Initiative that aimed to transform large areas of desert into agricultural land. The project involved the construction of dams, irrigation systems and other infrastructure to support agriculture in the desert regions of Saudi Arabia. Since then, Saudi Arabia has launched several initiatives to turn its deserts green and promote sustainable development in the country. One of the most recent initiatives is the Green Saudi Initiative launched in 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The initiative aims to plant 10 billion trees in the country over the next decade, which will help to combat desertification, reduce carbon emissions, and promote biodiversity. The Green Saudi Initiative will be implemented in partnership with the Green Middle East Initiative, which aims to plant 50 billion trees across the Middle East region. The initiative will involve the construction of nurseries to grow seedlings, the use of advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and drones to monitor the project's progress, and the development of a national tree planning strategy to guide the initiative. Saudi Arabia's Go Green campaign is an environmental initiative launched by the Saudi government in 2019 for increasing food production, diversifying the economy, improving food security, protecting the environment, promoting sustainable development. Potential Benefits Saudi Arabia is determined to add green spaces, especially in urban areas, for several reasons including environmental, social, and economic benefits. Furthermore, adding green spaces to urban areas is part of Saudi Arabia's broader efforts to promote sustainable development and address environmental challenges. Adding green spaces to urban areas helps mitigate the impact of desertification and promotes water conservation. By creating more livable and sustainable urban environments, Saudi Arabia can enhance its citizens' quality of life and support its economy's long-term development. Oasification Efforts to stop and reverse desertification, Saudi Arabia has developed several techniques and initiatives, including afforestation. Afforestation involves planting trees and other vegetation in previously barren areas. It helps to prevent soil erosion, reduce the impact of desertification, and promote biodiversity. One of the most recent afforestation projects is the Green Saudi Initiative, launched in 2021 by Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The initiative aims to plant 10 billion trees in the country over the next decade, covering 40 million hectares to help combat desertification, reduce carbon emissions, and promote biodiversity. The Green Saudi Initiative will be implemented in partnership with the Green Middle East Initiative, which aims to plant 50 billion trees across the Middle East region. 
The initiative will involve construction of nurseries to grow seedlings, use of advanced technologies like artificial intelligence and drones to monitor the project's progress, the development of a national tree planting strategy to guide the initiative. Water Conservation Saudi Arabia faces a water scarcity issue due to its arid climate and limited freshwater resources like rivers. Water conservation helps reduce the pressure on groundwater resources and promote sustainable water use. Saudi Arabia has developed several water conservation techniques to support its efforts to trap water underground and promote sustainable development. These include drip irrigation, desalination, cloud seeding, water harvesting, wastewater reuse, recharge dams, wadi damming. The stored water can be used for various purposes, including irrigation, reforestation, and groundwater recharge. In addition to improving water resources, these methods can help mitigate the impact of floods and reduce soil erosion. Soil Conservation Saudi Arabia has implemented several soil conservation measures such as contour plowing and the use of mulching techniques. These measures help retain soil moisture, prevent erosion, and improve soil fertility. Some essential techniques include soil stabilization, mulching, composting, cover cropping, terracing. Sand Dune Stabilization Saudi Arabia has developed techniques for stabilizing sand dunes that help prevent the encroachment of sand dunes onto agricultural land and other areas. This is because dunes are often unstable and can shift and move rapidly with the wind, making it difficult to establish vegetation and other forms of plant life. By stabilizing dunes, Saudi Arabia can create a more stable environment for plant growth and other life forms to thrive. There are several techniques used for dune stabilization in Saudi Arabia, including shelter belts, sand fences, terracing, micro-catchments. Grazing Management Saudi Arabia has implemented measures to manage grazing practices, such as rotational grazing and providing supplementary feed for livestock. These measures help prevent overgrazing, which leads to soil degradation and desertification. Properly managing grazing can maintain the soil's health and productivity, promote biodiversity, and create a more favorable environment for plant growth and other life forms. Some of the grazing management techniques used in Saudi Arabia include rotational grazing, herding, fencing, water management. Challenges There are several challenges that Saudi Arabia is facing in turning its deserts green. These challenges include limited water resources, Saudi Arabia is a water-scarce country with limited freshwater resources. The country is heavily reliant on groundwater, which is being depleted at an alarming rate. This limits the amount of water that can be used for agriculture and other purposes. High Cost of Water The cost of water in Saudi Arabia is high, particularly for agricultural use. This is due to the high cost of desalination and the infrastructure needed to transport and distribute water. Extreme Weather Conditions Saudi Arabia is known for its hot and arid climate, making growing crops challenging. Extreme weather conditions like high temperatures and sandstorms can damage crops and make it difficult to produce them. Soil Quality The desert soils in Saudi Arabia could be better in quality, with low levels of organic matter and nutrients. This makes it challenging to grow crops as they require fertile soil to thrive. Lack of Skilled Labor there is a shortage of skilled labor in Saudi Arabia's agricultural sector. It is challenging to implement and maintain sustainable farming practices and develop new technologies and techniques to increase agricultural productivity. Infrastructure and Logistics Saudi Arabia's desert regions are remote and isolated with limited infrastructure and logistics. This makes it challenging to transport agricultural products to market and to access the resources and equipment needed for farming. Lack of financial backup One of the significant challenges Saudi Arabia faces in turning its deserts green is the financial challenge. Turning the deserts green requires considerable infrastructure, technology, and human resources investment. It seems like nature is already on the kingdom's side. The heavy rain showers of December 2022 that heavily flooded Mecca and many other areas turned surrounding areas, particularly those in the west, green. The dense vegetation has even been spotted on NASA satellites in space. Does that mean Saudi's water conservation efforts are paying off? 
The Saudi government claims that the entire country will be given equal preference in the oasification of the 1.15 million km2 desert. Answer us in the comments section if you think Saudi can live up to the challenge and also mention your reason. Subscribe to the channel for more thrilling videos.